when you're given a script and asked to decide, uh, do you want to do this, uh, what is it that makes you decide one way or another? How do you know that the part is right for you? It's very hard to say. I just like it. Or, or, or it doesn't strike me as, as anything I particularly would like to do. It seems like this stuff is getting to me. I've been at it for two years, this channel. It's been a really interesting experience. So with that, I'd like to say... Happy New Year! It is now 2015. Every year appears to be some sort of change in pace for most YouTubers, looking to start the year off with the goals that couldn't be reached during the past year. Like 2014 and 2013, here's my New Year's channel update. So I'd like to start off by thanking each and every one of you that supported me last year. 2014 was a year of success for my channel, and it would not have been accomplished if it weren't for my fanbase. In last year's channel update, I emphasized my relevance on YouTube and how I wanted to produce more Let's Plays. For the most part, I didn't do any Let's Plays, really. Well, I tried nights, and I did a Q&A Let's Play on Sonic 2, the Master System version. I think that's about it. My reasoning for this is, well, I like doing what pleases my audience the most. My Discussion videos are what made me Steven Nux. No one really did Sonic videos the way I did, so I wanted to keep that strong on my channel. So many users do Let's Plays, which is fine, but I aim to be as original as I can. And for me to try Alpine, especially now, it doesn't really work out. Basically, I moved on from that. Does this mean that I'm completely done with LPs? Not at all. But currently, there are bigger things for me to work on. 2014 was also a good year for making friends, which is awesome. I entered the year with about Four. So it's cool to take in that I've grown to a larger number of YouTube friends over the year. And I have to thank my collab channel, Sonic Central, for that. As early as the planning stage, I've met a number of cool people. I also joined Twitter last year, which really made it easier to connect with you guys. And if you aren't following me yet, then, uh... Really? Even dating before Twitter and Central, working with other familiar names during my summer discussion segments, helped me build collaborations as well. The channel rebranding was probably the most effective towards me and my viewers, as it took tons of thought and effort on whether I should put it together. I knew at some point of this channel's lifespan that I would need an actual avatar, and not just Knuckles. I debated on keeping Knuckles, you know, with the shades, but I like my decision. It'll help me out in the long run, definitely. And it really makes me feel more authentic, as I came up with the design and everything. People will dislike it, We'll get used to it. And I have no regrets. Gotta love the 60s theme. 2014 was nearly everything I could have hoped for. Made some really nice videos that were received really well and definitely increased my audience. Yeah, yeah, but then again, that's not the whole thing. <laughs> now, enough about 2014. Let's talk about this year. 2015. Do I have any major plans for this channel? Well, yeah, there are some things I'd like to discuss about the upcoming months. Before hitting one of my main goals of 10k back in November, which was really amazing by the way, thanks again guys, I've always had the idea of trying new things once I got to 10k. Since I reached the goal at the end of the year, I felt as if 2015 would be a good time to give it the necessary follow-up. This year, I am wishing to make this channel easily known for whatever I present, and I'm on the right track with that. So as for what I'm going to be presenting, I I will continue to improve my discussion videos. I will make sure that this channel is charm and uniqueness as usual with videos you won't see coming. LPs will continue to be on hold until future notice. And for the first time ever, I will be doing video game reviews. Yes, this is a new focus for this channel. 2015 will be the year I start reviewing games. Whether it's spin-off Sonic games, non-Sonic games, I'll give my shot at doing it in the most original way I can. That way they stand out from everyone else's. I can only hope that you guys look forward to my reviews and whatever else I have to offer offer in the upcoming months. I think they have something very, very good, and very often part of the quality falls by the wayside for some reason or other, or even if they make a good picture, the audience doesn't always like it. It's a very tenuous elusive thing, you know. For those of you that have been supporting me since the beginning, and even my newer subscribers, we're going places. I've talked to and befriended people that I never thought I would, and it feels amazing to be in this position. 11k may not seem like a lot to some, but this channel has surpassed other channels that I watched years ago. Channels I never thought I'd pass. It's just crazy to think that if I wasn't Steven Nux and just some guy starting YouTube, I would probably look at it as this established YouTube channel. And to emphasize how special that is to me. I didn't have many friends throughout the past two years. I didn't get any shout outs from any big YouTubers. I didn't guest star in any popular video. I stayed independent for a while. And I like to think that people just enjoy what I say and what I create. So again, thanks for everything. I can't fully express how amazing that feels in this one video, but seriously, 
let's make this year count, and I will talk to you guys later. A really fortunate person because I followed my instincts and they've brought me nothing but terribly kind people to work with. And uh, so, so far, it's, it's been all right. Thank you. Thank you.